Um, like just like hurts not like just like a normal stretch. It hurts beyond that. Then of course don't do anything you don't feel comfortable with, and just do what you can. Um, all right. So if there are no other questions, we are going to get started, and we're going to start in a standing position. Um, for those who just came in. Um, keep a chair nearby just in case you want to use it for the balance stuff today or to assist you in any of these exercises. All right, so we're going to start standing. We're going to slowly build on this exercise today, so we're going to add a move every time. So to start, we're going to do a hip circle. Lift one leg up as high as you can, bent knee. Then bring it around up as high as you can, as far as you can, back over and down. If you're trying to stay upright, let's do the other side. So it comes up and you just open up that hip, hold and back over and down. Now we're gonna add, do that again, we're gonna add on to it. So this time we're gonna come up, we're gonna come back and then we're gonna move back into an airplane. So kind of just like a balance right here. So if you want, hold on to the wall, hold on to your chair, and think about your weight back into your heel, your back straight. And then we're gonna come back out the way that we came, bringing that leg up to the side. Stand up, forward, and down, other side. So that other leg into the ground, lift up the leg, open up, and then open up down. All right, hold that airplane for a few counts. All right, screen is frozen. We're gonna pause for a second. All right, I'm gonna move locations. Just in case this is a bad location, I usually teach in another room. So give me a second. All right, is it still frozen? Oh, okay, you can see me now? All right, so is this better? It's still frozen, I'm not sure about that. My connection says it's good. Um, okay, I mean, I can try ending the meeting and coming back in. Let's see. All right, yeah, give it another second. And if it doesn't get better, then I'll end the, um, I'll end the session and restart it. Um, right. All right, Sarah, is it still frozen for you? All right, I will try ending the session and then I'm gonna come right back in. So you guys should still be here, all right? Give me like, a few seconds. All right, um, can you see me now? All right, great. And um, I think I made somebody else the host, so you're gonna need to make me the host. Now, I think I made, um, Sarah, I think I made you the host for a second. Kelly seems to be a host. Kelly, okay. So if you can just click my name and assign me as the host. Um, all right, yeah, I didn't want to uh, 
I didn't want to leave completely. So that way, because then it would cut you guys all out. All right. Um, we'll just continue with our audio then. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why that was being so weird. Okay, we're going to start again. So let's go back into that. Um, um, Kelly, if you hear me, make me host whatever you can. Um, all right, we're going to go back into it. So we are standing up and we're going to go back into the hip circles with the airplane. So let's do that again one more time. So hip circle, leg comes up, open up, and then come back as you lean forward. Heel is glued into the ground, light up that glute, and then come back forward, around and back. So let's do it again. Other side, back. Hold that airplane position. And then we come back up and we're down. All right, we're gonna add on again. So we're gonna do it again on the other side. Open up, back into that airplane. <laughs> Hold it right here, big stretch for the hamstring. Now when we come up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the leg around, cross the ankle over the knee, and we're going to sit back. So just sit back as low as you can. Think about folding yourself in half and you should get a nice stretch of the glute right here. So come down as low as you can. If you wobble a bit, that's okay. Um, so I can come down to about here, but as low as you can. And then we come back up and switch legs. So let's do the other side now. We'll do that same thing. Open up, hip circle, back into airplane, lean forward, feel that stretch of the hamstring. Then we're back forward again. Knee comes up high all the way around, cross the ankle over the knee, flex the foot and squat it down as low as you can. Again, you can use that chair to help you out and stuff like this to give you a little bit of balance. Press it up and release. All right, that was our standing flow. Now we're going to make our way down to the ground. Come down into a tabletop position, shoulders over hands, hips over knees. We're gonna do a few cat cows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in, pull our shoulder blade back, pull the tailbone up and look up. And then as you breathe out, you tuck that tailbone, round the upper back, tuck the chin and spread those shoulder blades and then go back the opposite way along with your own breath here. But I want you to really focus on every part of the spine. So all the way from the tailbone to the neck, into the shoulder blades, into the core. So on that cat, you really pull that belly button into your spine and just get some movement back into your spine here this morning. All right, let's do one more each side. And whenever you finish what you're on, come back to a neutral spine. So not into either cat or cow, just right in the middle. We're gonna lift up our left hand all the way up as high as you can with the straight arm. Then bring it all the way around the body and then Spin it so you can tap the base of the spine. You'll have to bend your elbow a little bit there and then extend it back up the way you came, rotating at the shoulder and back down. And then we're gonna switch. So other arm, reach up, get that hand by your ear and then all the way around, keep the arm straight until you need to bend it in order to tap the other side of your spine and come back the other way again, nice and slow, moving with control, moving with strength. Let's go back to the first side again. And we're really trying to push those outer ranges of motion here. So get that arm up. Remember, this is strength in our range of motion. Tap the base of the spine, spin it around and feel that rotation at the shoulder. And we're gonna go into the other side, all the way around. And then back down. All right, now we're going to go back to the first side, but you're just gonna lift up the the left hand and reach all the way up, opening up, trying to stack those shoulders. And while keeping the knees and feet down on the ground, follow that arm with your gaze. So this goes into the back here. And then when you come down, you're going to let the arm touch the ground, thread underneath beneath you and reach nice and long across the opposite direction. So we're gonna be a stretch of the opposite part of our back here. Let that uh, shoulder touch the ground. And then you're gonna unthread the arm back the way you came, reach up again, and then it comes down to the ground. So let's do it on the other side. So lift up the other arm now, big stretch straight arm, follow it with your gaze, 
open up into that upper back here. Then we come down, hand reaches the ground, then elbow, then shoulder, as far as you wanna go, reach in the opposite direction there. All right, and then slowly uncurl back the way you came. Reach up one last time and then down. All right, we're gonna do one more on each side. So now that you got the move, you can really focus on how far you wanna reach up there. Good, arm comes down. And then we reach nice and long underneath us. All right, unthread the arm back the way you came, reach up, come down, opposite side now. So you can really feel that stretch in your upper back as you reach. All right, then slowly come down underneath you, thread the arm under. You feel this one in like the back of the shoulder, upper back area, and then slowly uncurl. Reach up one last time, arm comes down. All right, so we are now going to tuck the toes and press the hips back into a downward facing dog. So hold that there for one second. So you're holding that downward dog. You're bringing that chest closer to your thighs. And you're trying to really press that head in between the shoulders back. So coming into that upper back stretch. All right, now drop the knees back down and you're gonna send the hips back, arms long. And now we've made it into our child's pose right here. So in the child's pose, you wanna bring that chest closer to the floor and reach nice and long with the hands. Now here's where a little bit of a challenge comes in. We are going to try and keep that chest down on the ground in our child's pose, but we're gonna lift one arm at a time, keeping that arm straight. So start with your left arm and just lift it up. Keep that head on the ground. Lift that left arm up as high as you can and hold. Three, two, one, drop the hand. And now lift the right arm up just barely. It won't come up much. And you're trying to lift it up without bringing your head up, right? So the head stays down, the arm comes up. If it doesn't come up off the ground, it's okay. But just the act of you trying to lift that arm up is going to fire that those muscles and eventually you'll be able to do it. So just hold up as high as you can, drop the arm back down. And then we're gonna shift our weight forward. You're in a kneeling position. Arms are gonna come out long in front of us. And then we're going to bring the hips back down. So try and keep the hips straight. And we're just gonna slowly lean back right here. Now, as far back as you wanna go, maybe you stop right here and you come up, maybe you come all the way back, but you want to keep the hips straight. So I'm not leaning forward and squatting back. I'm just leaning back and this is gonna light up your quads. And then we're gonna pull ourselves back forward. So you might've felt a little burn on your quads. They're totally normal, also great for the knees. Now let's shift back down into our child's pose and we're gonna practice that same thing again. So lifting up each arm one at a time, ready, get nice and long. And if your arm doesn't come up, just enjoy the nice stretch in child pose and just actively try to reach your arm up. So now left arm comes up, hold it there. Three, two, one, drop it down. Right arm comes up, reach, pull from behind your shoulder, your upper back, three, two, one, drop it down. Press yourself forward back into a kneeling position. Arms come forward to counterbalance you and we slowly lean back as far as you wanna go. No pressure to go any farther than feels comfortable for you. All right, back down, hips down, reach nice and long. All right, now lift up your arm again one more time, really reach up as high as you can, but keep that head and chest down on the ground. Back down, switch arms up, hold it three, two and one arm comes down stand up last one so you can really push yourself make sure you squeeze those glutes forward and then rock backwards straight line from my knees to my head here as far as you want to go and then pull yourself back up with the quads all right you're gonna take a look i'm gonna take a little break get a sip of water feel free to take one all right so next we're gonna come back down to the ground, tuck the toes, and we're going to press back up into a downward dog. 
Mm, just to get that stretch in the opposite part of our knees. All right, now lift up your right leg and we are gonna bring it over to the opposite hand. So my right leg is coming over to my left hand and I'm gonna drop it down and my leg is gonna come out to the side. So it's kind of like a um, pigeon pose in yoga, but it's a little bit easier because your leg is just gonna come out to the side and I'm keeping my knees bent at 90 degrees and my feet flexed at 90 degrees right here. Front shin is uh, parallel to my side thigh. All right, so then I'm going to first stand up nice and tall. And what we're gonna try to do, again, this might not work for you, but just try. We're gonna try and lift that back leg up off the ground. So I'm gonna dig my knee into the ground, lift that back heel just slightly. It doesn't take much. If it hurts, don't do it. But if you can, just try and work on that external rotation at the hip. All right, drop the leg back down. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to dig in with our front foot and knee, and we're going to press our hips up off the ground right there. So just mm. press forward. If it doesn't work, use your hands to help you come up a little bit. And now here is the um, transition. So if, you, if this doesn't work, you can just get up and move. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide that front foot beneath me back foot slides in front of me. And now mm. we can sit down in the same position on the other side. If that does not, if that's not working for you, just get up, pick your legs up and move them and sit on the other side. That's totally fine. So now we're sitting up nice and tall, 90, 90 stretch. As you can see, I'm on the opposite leg is forward. My front leg is now back and I'm going to lift up that back leg just slightly if you can. It helps, it makes it easier if you lean forward rather than if you're standing up tall and you do it, that's gonna be a lot harder. So just lift it up slightly. And then now we lean forward, we press our knee and our hip into the ground and we press up to that standing position. All right, and then we rotate, spin at the knees, spin it around and come back down other side. All right, let's do this one more time. Lift up the back leg if you can, if not just stand up tall drop the back leg. And now we're gonna add an extra little stretch here where we lean forward over that front knee for a second. So this, you'll feel it into the front hip and the glute there. Good, walk yourself back up and now press forward and now spin the feet or just pick them up and move them the other way. So if you don't wanna spin like I'm doing, you can literally just pick yourself up and move it in a way that's comfortable for you. So now we're up tall on the other side, either stay up tall or try and lift that back leg back down. Now we're gonna add in the extra stretch here, lean forward onto that glute, really releasing it to that front side of the hip. Walk back up and we're gonna press ourselves forward into the knee. All right, and that was our last one. So we can just come back down here all right, new move. So what we're gonna do now, our front hands are gonna come onto the ground and we're gonna square ourselves over our leg. That front leg is gonna come out to the outside. So we're in a low lunge. I got my left leg forward, hands down, and my back leg is back. Now, both of my, uh, my toes are pointing forward, but this one back on the ball of the foot. Knee pointed down here, knee pointed forward. All right, so what we're gonna do here, if you'd like, you can lift up the back knee or it can stay down depending on what you like. But we're gonna take a twist. So I'm gonna lift up the arm that's next to my leg and I'm just gonna reach it up, twist to face that leg, stacking the shoulders. All right, bring the arms back down. Now we're going to spin the back foot flat. As you can see, my toes pointed forward. And if you can, we're going to root that hand into the foot and open up the opposite way here. All right, hand comes back down. So spin that knee so it's pointed down onto the ground again. You can rest it on the ground if you'd like. And we're going to step back into a plank. And then our leg is going to come up on the other side here. So just hold this stretch for a second, get comfortable. You can keep your knee on the ground and hold it, or you can lift it up to push yourself a little bit further into the stretch. So now we're gonna lift up the opposite arm, the one that's next to our foot. Keep knee down if you'd like take that stretch. We're nice and strong in the bottom shoulder and then we're trying to stack mm -hmm. the top shoulder. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring the arm down, spin the back foot flat. 
And now we're gonna open up on the other side. I'm gonna spin a little bit so you can see me a little better. So I'm spinning the back foot flat and then opening up here. All right, arm comes back down, step back to plank and have a minute to drop the knees and hold the child's pose now for a little bit of rest here. Take a big breath here. We're resting, but this is also a great stretch. And now we are going to come up. All right, so for this part, uh, next part of the class, you will need a chair. You can use a chair, a bed, a table, anything that you can use as a prop that's around like knee to hip height. So I'm gonna grab this bench. Um, really anything will work, any type of flat surface. All right, so I've got this here. Mine's about knee level, but it can be a lot higher. It can be at your hip, whatever you want. We're gonna use it to stretch our hamstrings with a bit of a new method. So you wanna be facing your chair or whatever you have, table, bed, anything like that. <clears throat> now, put one leg that you wanna stretch first up onto the chair. Keep it straight, foot flex, toe pointed up. And we're just going to think about hinging at the hips over that leg. Now find the point where you feel the stretch in your hamstring and you can stop leaning forward. Now mine's lower, so I'm gonna have to lean a lot forward, more forward to get the stretch. If your leg was up higher, you might feel a stretch already. Totally fine. So just hold that here. We're gonna hold this stretch for 10 seconds. All right, breathe. And we're thinking about lengthening the muscle here. So this is traditional flexibility. All right, now for the next 10 seconds, we are going to, don't focus on the stretch, focus on driving your heel into whatever you have, your chair, bed, table, et cetera. Drive that heel in and you're going to contract all these muscles now. So the hamstrings and the glutes are gonna be working now as you're driving that heel down. You can't see it, but right now I'm lighting up those muscles. So just focus on driving it down and hold it. Work those muscles. All right, three, two, and one, release. Now the next 10 seconds, what we're gonna do is lift up the leg as high as we can. So this would be more same range of motion here as putting our leg up on the chair, but now we have to control it with our muscles. So it's a bit more active flexibility. So just bring that leg up as high as you can. And we're gonna hold it for three, two, and one, and drop the leg down to the ground. So three different ways that we're working this muscle, and this is gonna help us not just work on flexibility, but our ability um, of mobility. Yeah, mobility. All right, next leg up, let's do it again. So it goes first 10 seconds, we're just holding that hamstring stretch. Again, hinging at the hips, thinking about all the stretch in the back of the leg. Almost there, three, two, and one. Next 10 seconds, you can stand up if you'd like, drive that heel into the ground. So we're flexing the glutes, the hamstrings. Really drive that leg in, brace those muscles. And three, two, and one. All right, next 10 seconds, we lift up that leg as high as we can. Pull it up, just 10 seconds. And three, two, and one. Leg comes down. Other side, we're gonna do that again. Maybe you can go a little bit farther this time. Reach for that hamstring. 10 seconds in a traditional hamstring stretch right here. And three, two, one. Next 10 seconds, we drive that leg into whatever platform we have. Really dig that heel in. Almost there, clench those hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Now we lift up the leg. You might feel your hip flexors working, totally normal. You might feel it in the glute of the standing leg, also totally normal. It takes a lot of muscles just to bring your leg up. All right, so we're actively trying to press that foot up as high as we can and three, two, one back down. All right, other side, leg comes up, we hinge at the hips, reach for that leg. All right, 10 seconds here, 
big breath in. If you can, you sink a little bit deeper. All right, three, two, and one. Now we contract the muscle opposite. So we drive that leg in. So before we were oh. lengthening the hamstrings, now we are contracting it. Think about just driving that heel in. And three, two, and one. All right, now lift that leg up as high as you can. Three, two, and one. Bring the leg down, shake it out. Your hamstring should feel super loose now. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, now, what we're gonna do now is another stretch for the legs. This one will be inner thighs, might be a little bit challenging. Keep your chair nearby if you need to hold it. So what we're gonna do is the legs are wide and you're just gonna come into one leg, hinging at the hips, bending one leg, other leg stays straight. Now you might just end up being here you might let that leg come all the way down and sink down. So you're thinking squat on one side, straight on the other side. So I'm like super low right now, but you can also get the benefits just holding it here. You'll feel that inner stretch in your thighs and we're just gonna hold that. From the side, it looks like this. So you can see my hips come down and back. It looks like I'm just doing a squat, but my other leg is straight out. And now we're gonna press that foot in to extend the leg and shift our weight into the other side here, hips coming down until we find that point where we can't anymore. Again, you can hold onto that chair to help you get a little bit low. And I like to use my arm to drive my knee out. So let me turn so you can see again. So I use my arm and I use it to make sure that knee is going out, which is gonna open up my hips. All right, so if you need to help, you can, uh, to get back up, you can use the chair or um, the floor, but it helps to practice. See if you can get up without your hands. That's true mobility. And then we're going to hold the other side again. One more time, come down nice and slow, finding the point where you can hold it. Drive back up now. And last side right here. So this is one of those that really combines that strength and flexibility and back up. All right, now we're gonna make our way down to the floor. All right, last thing here, we're just gonna lay completely down onto the ground here. So I'm laying down on the ground, feet are long, gaze is down, my hands are gonna come wide. And now what we're gonna do is you're gonna lift up. So let's say you lift up your left leg and you're gonna reach it over, your left shoulder would come up off the ground and it's gonna tap the floor here. And then if you'd like, you can focus on pressing that left shoulder back towards the ground. And this is gonna give you a nice spinal stretch. And then to come out of it, we just twist back over, lift up the foot and come down onto the other side. So now for the other side, again, my right foot lifts up. I reach, my shoulder comes up off the ground here and I reach and I let that foot tap the ground. Now, if you'd like, this is when you deepen it by letting that right shoulder come back down onto the ground or towards the ground. All right, then come out of it, twist back forward, knee down, foot down, and let's do it one more side, uh, one more time on each side to finish with a nice stretch for our back and mobility. So reach with that foot. And now if you'd like, just bring that shoulder back to the ground. All right, then come back forward, slowly rolling down. And then other side right here, reach with that foot and then slowly drive a little bit deeper if you'd like while keeping your foot on the other side. Come back down, rolling forward, press yourself up. And now you can just sit, stand, whatever you like. We're just gonna do a quick little neck roll, bring the ear down to the shoulder, gently stretching out that neck and then roll the chin across the chest. So you'll feel it in the back of your neck, stretch on the other side. And then last thing, reach up with arms, extend coming out of the low back, big stretch for all of your spine and release. All right, we are done, super quick. Thank you guys for coming. If you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to let me know. And yeah, that was morning mobility. So this will be every Tuesday and Thursday.
Um, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for coming, guys. Um, yeah, sorry about a little uh, technical issues in the beginning. Next class, we'll make sure um, we got the music right and everything. And have a good start of the semester, a good day. Thank you, see ya.